Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. It's Kaylin Alex. If you're new here, welcome. Go ahead and subscribe, become part of the tribe. Awesome and great things happen over this way. And if you're returning, thank you so much for tuning in. So today's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys my suggestions on luxury essentials that every person needs in their closet, in their wardrobe, okay? So yeah, let's just go ahead and get into the video. These items are in no particular order. I do have about six categories and I think y'all need these things in y'all closet. First thing that I have on the list is a watch. I think every person needs a nice timepiece in their watch. What? In their watch? <laughs> in their collection? <laughs> every person needs a good timepiece in their collection, okay? Um, it doesn't have to be the most expensive, but I do suggest getting it from a brand that makes watches. I think that it is important to make sure that you're buying it from a brand that actually makes quality watches versus a fashion brand. So by fashion brand, I mean Gucci, Louis Vuitton, the Burberrys, even like a Toy Birch or something like that. Those are just fashion brands. So mostly the jewelry that you get from those places are costume jewelry or what is considered costume jewelry. It's not traditionally um, fine jewelry or things that are gonna withstand the test of time. That is not to say that they won't last you a, a long time, but Generally, it's not fine jewelry, so I wouldn't recommend those watches. I think they're just fashion, and I personally wouldn't invest my money in them. The next thing would be a nice handbag. So I, I would suggest a crossbody bag. So I have a few that I recommend, um, maybe one from Louis Vuitton. They have nice crossbodies. Of course, it is a brand that appreciates in value, and I think that you get a good quality bag for what you pay for it and it's gonna last you a while. Also, they typically have bags that are large enough for you to fit your phone, which for some reason, a lot of these bags don't be fitting your phone and I'm just like, why? But it'll fit your phone and all of your essentials that you'll need, so that is cool. Saint Laurent has nice bags. I mentioned this in my first luxury uh, purchase video the cape bag is a nice one it's traditional it is a bag that has been around it's a classic bag and they have sizes like multiple sizes so you can get one that'll fit your stuff i also recommend maybe a see here here's my thing with totes and large bags i think of them more for school or work or travel so if you're gonna be doing any of that, then I suggest getting a tote or a, you know, a larger bag that you can like throw stuff in. So when I mean, when I say handbag, I really mean something that you're gonna use a lot. You know, something that you were gonna get a lot of use out of, whether it be a handbag or a tote. Those are two good options. I do recommend a crossbody bag more so than a tote because you are a little bit more limited with the tote because you're only wearing it you know for work travel or school but i mean if that's what you do most of the time then i i mean it's a good investment me personally i would recommend a crossbody bag because i feel like it's more day to night and you will get more use out of it because while you may not need a full work bag, you can still carry a bag like that to work and then take it out, you know, for the rest of the evening. So I also suggest getting it in a neutral tone color. So if you're going to go with uh, something other than the traditional monogram of whatever brand you choose, I suggest getting something like a black or a nude or something that is very neutral in tone so that you can have versatility with whatever you're wearing it with because that's going to be important when we're talking about essentials essentials are traditionally things that are more neutral in tone that can be worn and um, that are more versatile for your collection another thing that i suggest that i think is an essential is a sog which is a small leather good now these i did not realize how important they were until i really really dove deep into them and started to like accumulate in a little collection i was like wait i didn't even know that i needed this stuff until you actually need it and you're like you really use it every day 
So SOG that I suggest and recommend is having a nice card holder. I'm a person who loves card holders over wallets, but if you're a wallet gal or guy, then you know get a nice wallet, but I like card holders. A nice card holder wallet or a small and or a small toiletry bag. So daily I carry the Louis Vuitton toiletry in 15. I use it for any liquids, lipsticks or lip liners, pens, things of that sort that could possibly open and ruin the inside of my bag. I like to keep it in something like that so that it's easier to clean if it does spill. I can't, it is canvas so, or Louis Vuitton leather, uh, if you wanna call it that, it's not that. <laughs> Don't get me started on that. But anyway, it can be easily cleaned and I like to carry it daily as well. So I think that that's something essential to have. I can also travel with it. So usually when I travel, I have a tote and I'll put my toiletry bag in it and keep all of the essentials that I'll need like through the airport if I'm going out the country, like custom stuff can fit in the toiletry bag and I'm good to go. I also know that Prada makes toiletry pouches. I do have a larger size ones. Theirs are nylon. Um, I'm not sure the care on nylon. I have to I have to look that up to know for sure, but I'm pretty sure it can be cleaned as well. And if not, correct me in the comments down below. Um, but yeah, I know that Prada makes toiletry pouches as well that you can carry. And there's honestly, Gucci has one. If we're talking high-end designer, they all, everyone pretty much has a toiletry pouch that you can get to protect you know the the inside of your bags or whatever you're carrying so those are essential things to have because they're also versatile you can wear them daily you can um use them for travel or if you're working and you have a large tote and you want something you know small and compact to you know house all of your important things so it's just like easier to grab those are very very good to have in your collection. I also suggest having a nice pair of earrings. So there are different brands that you can go to. I recommend David Yearman. That is one of my favorite brands. I think it's affordable, it is luxury, it's nice, and every girl needs David Yearman. So they have nice earrings, a nice collection that you can choose from. Um, I know De Beers has actually a collection, my first De Beers, which I think is so cool. I have not gotten anything from the collection, but I do plan to. I would recommend it because I've seen it. Um, Tiffany is also another good option. It's affordable, it's nice, it's luxury, and you're gonna get something quality, so get your pair of earrings from Tiffany, girl. Or, you know, whoever you choose, but those are also good brands. If you decide to go with a Louis Vuitton, a Gucci, even Chanel, just know that that jewelry is fashion jewelry. And it is not fine jewelry. It is not jewelry that is gonna last you for 19.99 years. <laughs> I'm being dramatic, but when I when I mean jewelry, I mean like actual jewelry houses, not just fashion houses. In places like Louis Vuitton, Chanel, Gucci, Burberry, those are fashion houses. You can always go to a jeweler and um, get a nice pair of diamond studs. So my favorite essential, a nice pair of shoes. Mm, I am a shoe girl, like a shoe girl, okay? I just love shoes and it's not just like any, like not one type of shoe. I love heels, I love flats, I love sandals, I love boots. Like for every season, whatever shoe is in or that you should be wearing in that season, I love it. Like I love it all. I love shoes. I love, 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 love shoes. Okay, now that I've gotten that out of the way, um, it's really hard for me to just recommend an essential because I love shoes. Speaking of which, I am working to show you guys my collection it is a lot so i'm trying to break it down into pieces so that we're not sitting here for an hour talking about my shoes like <laughs> nobody wants to do that so i'm trying to break it down that it's like enough and i give enough information about the stuff so that you'll love to see it but anyway we'll we'll come back to that when that video get here so i think a nice pair of pumps are essential for your collection i have mentioned that the louboutins um, so Kate's, or I wouldn't say the So Kate's. I would just let you pick which which line you prefer out of that um, from Christian Louboutin. Or Prada makes nice pumps. Who else? Saint Laurent actually has nice pumps as well. Manolo Blahnik has nice pumps. The Christian Louboutin. I don't care how basic people say it is. People still wear it. And it's still a nice shoe. So I'd suggest that. 
If you want to tone it down a bit, there's Saint Laurent. Prada has a nice one, and Manolo Blahnik actually has nice ones as well. So those are good options. Those are essential brands. You can get a nice shoe, a nice color, and sex appeal on the feet honey like yes i just live for a nice shoe i think every person needs a nice pair of flats in their collection as well those can be dressed up or dressed down manila blonic has nice flats christian louboutin of course has nice flats louis vuitton has nice flats who else prada has nice flats those are pretty much the brands that i chanel also has nice and classic flats as well so it kind of just depends on your style those are there's a bit of a difference in style when you come when it comes to each brand. So just pick the one that floats your boat and roll with it. A nice pair of sneakers could also fit into the collection. And I am just growing my sneaker collection. I think a nice pair of solid plain sneakers are very crucial, you know, I've realized to the collection, <laughs> especially when it starts to get into those colder months, like you want a nice versatile shoe, I think a sneaker is nice. You can also um, dress a sneaker up or down so you can wear it with, of course, athletic wear or with a pair of jeans, a dress or skirt. And I think it's important to have in the collection because it is a little versatile, it is edgy, and still cute. So a nice pair of sneakers would be essential in the collection. I personally recommend a nice pair of Gucci sneakers. They are very common and very cute. There's different designs on them. So I think that they do a good job of their sneaker game. Um, who else? Louis Vuitton actually has some nice sneakers that are plain and, you know, cute so the last item i have on my list is ready to wear now this i contemplated putting on here because i was like is it necessary is it not i decided to put it on the list because i think you get some really nice pieces ready to wear that are classics essentials things that you can have in your closet forever and ever and ever i do have a alexander mcqueen dress that i absolutely love um i've had it for several years it's plain, it's cute, it's girly, it's Alexander McQueen, it's high quality, and she's gonna be in my closet as long as I can fit her. So I, I do think certain things, um, designer ready to wear are essentials in the closet, a nice button down, a pair of pants, or a skirt or like I said, a dress, something that you can have forever and ever and ever that you can always wear with different things to different occasions, it's not too flashy. I would say to shy away from things that are flashy, <laughs> that has the logo written all over it, stamped all over it for an essential, that's just my opinion. Um, but I do think that there should be some flair about the item to justify what you're spending on it. I do think that some things, even if it's like a little small logo, those type of things are okay. So it's okay to be, you know, for it to say where you got it from, just as long as it's not overpowering and overbearing. Um, but also the thing that you run into with flashier items is they tend to be a little more trendy generally, and you don't want to get that if you don't have to you know we want to stick to the essentials that's the purpose of this video so that's not to say you can't get those things but as far as essentials you want to get something that's pretty neutral in tone and color and style that is still high quality those are pretty much my suggestions um i hope i did a good job of explaining to you guys the essentials that you need in your closet uh, don't forget to like thumbs up, drop a nice comment down below, and subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified when I post again, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.